Hello everyone, this is Jay Kylie. I'm James Harvey and today we will discuss about the most beautiful places in the Philippines by Jay mm -hmm. Kylie and James TV. Most beautiful place in Philippines. Yes, the Philippines. Well, let's start with Bohol. Philippines. Yes. Yeah. So the chocolate hills of Bohol are one of the most iconic locations and natural phenomenon in the Philippines. See? Wow. So, see why it's so beautiful. With over 1,260 hills running into the horizon, they are covered with lush greens except during the dry season where the grass turns brown and gives the hills their name. This has to be one of the most unique landscapes in the Philippines and maybe even the world. Tarsiers are nocturnal creatures. Yeah. That and that is a tarsier. Right Kylie? Yes. He's a big eyes and a big ears. Yeah. Um creatures like that. Yeah. Like the owls sleeping during daytime yet very active at night they hide in the hollows close to the ground yes hunts and feeds mainly on fruits and insects such as cockroaches crickets and sometimes small lizards yes yeah local folks believe they eat charcoal but in fact they only get the maggots or insects inside the burnt wood or to get some salt that's the fact in fact only five species of the tarsier exist what four can be found in indonesia and the species tarsius sirichta lives deep in the woods of bohol island in visayas these small fur creatures can also be found in the islands of Samar, Leyte, and Mindanao. Yes. And yes. number two. Banawe. Banawe. Banawe rice terraces. Philippines. Yep, that's right. They are also located in the Philippines. Are found on the mountains of Ifugao and were carved there about 2,000 years ago. Wow, that was a very long time ago, right? Yes. Even older than my grandmother. Yes. <laughs> By the ancestors of the present day Philippines. It is said that they were built by hand. Wow, such a beautiful view. Yeah, view. I mean, Inside yeah, those yeah. people were really good. Yeah, they did really hard manual work. By the ancestors of the region's Indian Jewish people. In 1995, the UNESCO agreed with the Filipinos that the terraces were indeed a World Heritage Center. Yes. The UN body declared it's so in the same year. It is said that the terraces is one of the most spectacular engineering feats to have been accomplished in the ancient world. Wow. We are so watching there. Yeah. Small Rise. and grow up. The people of the province love having fun during the festival of Tungul. During the festival, they drink baya, baya, or rice beer, eat rice cakes and chew betel nut. Yes, I mean those people who really built resources were really talented. Yeah. Yes. I have to say, really. And the next, next is Palawan, Philippines. Yeah. Palawan also in Philippines. Number three, Palawan. Ghost. One of the most popular tourist destinations in the Philippines 
both for local and international explorers alike thanks to its undeniable and exotic beauty in El Nido. Wow, really nice. It has white sand over there. He uh, has really what's uh, it really has wicked woods of trees. Look the boats. Yeah. With blue water. He has a cave inside. Flower, the a slice of heaven, a silver of an island that teems with exotic wildlife. Quaint fishing villages and UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Wave hello to endangered animals at the Kalut Game Preserve and Wildlife Sanctuary or Explore. The Japanese shipwreck of Coral Island regarded as one of the best dive sites in the world. Yes. A guided boat tour of the Puerto Princesa. Underground river will take your breath away. He has so this means in the right in here in the picture clown is really such beautiful. He has even more beautiful than you think. Inside the rock. Yeah, there are next. even caves. Baguio City in Philippines. Yep. And next is Baguio, Baguio City. city. Philippines. So Baguio City is a city in the mountainous area of Whoa. the Northern Luzon, Whoa. Philippines. Wow. It is known as the summer capital of the Philippines, owing to its cold climate since the city is located approximately 4,810 feet. That means 1,470 meters above mean sea level. Often stated as 1,540 meters, 5,050 feet in the Luzon Tropic Pine Forests, a ecoregion which also makes it a conductive for the growth of mossy plants. Orchids, El Nido is a travel's paradise with charming bars, restaurants, and island hopping. Open pine. You know, uh, the Philippines has really such fun facts. How about you, Kali? What do you think about the Philippines and the places? Yes. Really interesting? Yes. Baguio was established as a hill station by the United States in, in the 90s at the site of an Ibaloy village known as Cafagwe. It was the United States only hill station in Asia and the next is number five Batanes yes. that's really this you see Batanes Batanes offers an escape like nowhere else in the country perched at northernmost tip of the Philippines Batanes is surrounded by endless picturesque landscapes of rolling hills. Wow. Yeah. So Philippines has really a lot of mountains. Yes. The sky and sea. A tranquil slow down way of life is enjoyed by the locals who are also known for their pleasant and amiable nature. Popular place in Batanes is the Honesty Cafe where a small store and self-service cafe stands unmanned. Customers come in, take what they need, and they are simply trusted to leave the correct amount at unallocated cash box. So there's no vend vendors. And the next, Sagada. Sagada. That's right, Sagada. Yes. So, what is this? So, Sagara is the people of Sagara follow a unique burial ritual. The elderly carve their own coffins out of hallowed logs, but if they are too weak or ill, their families prefer coffins instead. 
the dead are placed inside their coffins, ah. sometimes breaking their bones in the process of fitting them in. And the coffins are brought to the cave for burial. <gasps> Instead of being placed into the ground, the coffins are hung either inside the caves or on the face of the cliffs near the hanging mm. coffins of their ancestors. The Sagara people have been practicing such burials for over 2,000 years. And some of the coffins are well over a century old. Wow, really old. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the coffins deteriorate and fall from their precarious positions. The reasons the coffins were hung is due to the belief that the higher the dead were placed, the greater chance of their spirits reaching a higher nature in the afterlife. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Many of the locations of the coffins are difficult to reach and obviously should be left alone out of respect. But can be appreciated from afar. Yes. And next is next is my volcano in Alba. Ooh, okay. Mayon is an active volcano, the most active in the country, oh, that is yeah. famous for its seemingly perfect symmetry, standing nearly 2,500 meters tall. It's amazing! flawless conical shape captivates anyone who sets eyes on it. Yes, Kylie. It's amazing. Yeah, and it even has a perfect cone shape. That's why it's taking the attentions of the tourists. The Mayan Volcano Natural Park is a protected area of the Na Philippines located in the Bicol region, in Region 5, on Southeast Luzon Island, the largest island of the country. The Natural Park covers an area of 5,775.7 hectares, which includes wow. its centerpiece, Mayan Volcano, the most active volcano in the Philippines, and its adjacent surroundings. The volcano is also renowned <coughs> for having an almost perfect cone. See? I told you. First protected as a national park in 1938. It was reclassified as a natural park in the year 2000. Wow. You know, there's a, really a lot of fun facts about the Philippines. I want to know more a lot. Me too. Oh, yeah. And his mm. next is Locus Norte. Philippines. Yep. They're all in Philippines. It can be all located in this one country, the Philippines. Yes. Ilocos Norte is a province of the Philippines located in the only Ilocos region. Its capital is Lawag City. Bangi Wind Farm is a wind farm in Bangi, Ilocos Norte. The wind farm uses 20 units of 70 meter, that means 230 feet high vistas, yeah. megawatts, wind turbines arranged in a single row stretching along a 9 kilometer shoreline of Bangi Bay facing the West Philippine Sea. The yes. North Wind Bangi Bay project is located in the municipality of Bangi, Ilocos Norte, Philippines, at the northwest tip of Luzon Island. The turbines face the sea from where the prevailing wind blows towards the land. Its location along the shore is optimal due to the lack of wind breaks and limited terrain roughness.
Yes. The site consists of 20 vistas wind systems stretching 9 kilometers of the shoreline of the bay. Wow. Means they use it to, to have electricity. Yeah. So, and this is the St. Augustine Church, commonly known as the Pauai Church. It's a Roman Catholic Church in the municipality of Pauai, Ilocos Norte in the Philippines, completed in 1710. The church is famous for its distinct architecture highlighted by the enormous buttress on the sides and back of the building. Right. It is declared as a national cultural treasure by the Philippine government in 1973 and a UNESCO World Heritage Site under the collective group of Baroque Churches of the Philippines in 1993. With its 24 carved buttresses, the church was able to withstand several natural calamities. Whoa, it's Whoa. almost invincible. Yes. And continues to stand strong even for after 300 years. What the? Yeah. Cool. Look, it's amazing. Yes. Next. It'll even take a miracle to do that. <gasps> Rizal Park, Manila. Yes, that's no, correct, Rizal. Kylie. It's in that's Rizal Park in Manila, because the capital of the Philippines. Oh, heroes. Yeah. So Rizal is our national hero here in the Philippines. Yes. So, Rizal Park, also known as Luneta Park, or simply Luneta, is a historic urban park located in Armita, Manila, Philippines, which is considered as one of the largest urban parks in Asia. Whoa. Wow. Covering an area of 58 hectares, the site on where the park is situated was originally known as Pagumbayan during the Spanish colonial period. It is adjacent to the historic walled city of Intramuros and is a major tourist destination in the Philippines. What the? Situated on the eastern shores of Manila Bay, the park plays a significant role in shaping the history of the Philippines. The execution of Filipino patriot Jose Rizal on December 30, 1896 fanned the flames of the 1896 Philippine Revolution against the Kingdom of Spain. So at that time, Philippines was conquered by Spain. The yes. park was officially named in his honor. Yes and the monument enshrining his remains serves as the park's symbolic focal point. Yes. And that's all of the things about Result Park. So, oh, yeah. Kylie, imagine all of the places in the Philippines. Yeah. And oh, yeah. so, Jose Rizal is our national Hero, yeah. He he was one of the heroes that sacrificed his life just to free us from the conquerors. Kuya, why are soldiers in around Rizal Park? Yeah. So that is a symbol of respect to our national hero Jose Rizal. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And thank don't forget to share. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.
bye bye thank you for your support everyone yep and yeah that's all thank you for watching